Gary, I'm a Digital West Star expert here at Mercedes-Benz Southwest. You join me out of rather cold and windy countryside where I'm going to show you the all new Mercedes-Benz C-Class Estate. Follow me, I'll show you some new features around the car. The first thing I'd love to show you, I'm sure you've seen it as well, you have got the new AMG line diamond style front grille. Uh, if you look at every single speckle you'll notice it is a Mercedes-Benz emblem. Beneath the number plate, you have got wider opening vents. The great news about this, it helps with cooling of the car, but also mainly prevents drag as well. On that topic, the side vents, a whole new design, um, and of course, same principles, prevents drag. So looking at the side of the car, you notice you have got 19 inch diamond cut multi-spoke alloy wheels. Moving along the side, you have electric folding mirrors, a lot more flare on the side skirts. This particular model is a premium, so you have got keyless entry. And lastly, rear tinted windows as well. At the rear of the car, of course, you still have the traditional Mercedes-Benz emblem at the middle. We also have something new to the car, which is the three-dimensional LED tail lights. And with the AMG trim line, you also have the air ducts on the side of the rear bumper, as well as your air diffuser slats in the middle as well. Let me show you the boot. We have an electric tailgate, which you can preset the opening height. It's a flat loading space on the boot. We also have a parcel cover at the top, of course, and also your netted separator. In terms of conveniences, this is a 490 litre boot and with the rear seats down, it's 1,510 litres. In terms of conveniences, on the far left and right of the boot, you have got your shopping bag hooks, additional storage underneath the boot floor, and also your separated cargo net storage compartment. So sat in the back of the C-Class Estate, the first thing you'll probably notice is absolutely, I do have plenty of leg room. I'm five foot 10 and of course, I'm spoiled for the amount of space I have around me. On that topic, in terms of comfort, you do have an armrest, and the great thing is you also have your cup holders as well built into the armrest. Moving along, you do have separate vents for the rear passengers. And in terms of conveniences, you do have some storage behind the seats and of course, separate reading lights at the top. Also sat in the back here, you'd notice the brand new style front seats. You have the lovely contour stitching on the sides here and a very futuristic looking adjustable headrest. Join me at the front. I'll go through the seats in a bit more detail with you. So on the topic of the seats, they are finished off in black Artico leather with a contrasting grey stitching and they're adjusted by this touch pressure sensitive panel here where they're not really buttons or switches but once you put your finger on there it will certainly go through all your adjustments. So we have a new steering wheel at the front, contoured to fit your hands a lot more comfortably. Touch panels on the steering wheel to adjust things like your cruise control settings as well as your entertainment volume. At the top here you do have a leather wrap dashboard and of course the signature style Mercedes-Benz vents with the built-in ambient lighting. On that topic you'll notice the contour dash not only is it finished in exposed carbon but you do have that ambient lighting which is adjustable throughout the dashboard. Let's face it the first thing you have noticed is the brand new display screen at the center of the car. It's a lot bigger, comes out of an S-Class, easier for me to reach as well, and it's just a lot clearer in terms of controlling and adjusting everything I need to whilst driving. All the climate control settings are on the bottom of the screen. You do have things like your fingerprint recognition as well, just to lock any of your settings in. And then on top of that, you also have another large display screen in front of the driver, which can go through your things like your typical dash settings, your dash displays, and you can have things like your navigation and media displays on the front of the driver as well. Let's talk about the storage in the car. You have massive door pockets on each side. You have a glove box with plenty of space in there. The split opening armrest with more storage, two USB type C charging points. On top of that, in the center console, you also have two cup holders, storage space, a wireless phone charger, and yet another USB type C charging point. So the current engine lineups, we have five different varieties. We have two diesels, which is the C220D and also the C300D and two petrol options, which is the C200 and the C300. And we have a hybrid option as well, which is the C300E. So whichever model you decide to go for, being a typical C-Class, I can assure you that it's great to drive. The steering is precise. And of course, you're gonna have that comfortable driving experience alongside that. 
Okay, so that is my review on the all new Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this car. If this is a car you want to see in person or take out for a test drive, the great news is we have got demonstrators as well as C-Classes in our showroom at all four of our dealerships. That's Exeter, Truro, Plymouth, and also Taunton. Thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon.